In this video, we're going to take a look at a legal problem called clone graph. So given a reference of a node that is connected undirected graph. So undirected graph basically means that if node A is connected to node B, that means that node B is also connected to node A, right? And then we want to return a deep copy clone of the graph. So a deep copy basically means that we want to create it. Uh, we want to create a new brand new um, graph in the memory instead of pointing to the um, the same memory location. So in each node in the graph contains a value int and a list of list node of its neighbors. So we want so we have a node like this, right? It has a value and all the uh, neighbor node is connected to this current node. And um, here are the test case form. And the test case in this case is going to be adjacency list. And uh, basically, you can see here, this is the original graph. And when we clone it, right, once we clone it, it will look exactly like the original graph. But we're allocating a new um, space in the memory, right? We're creating a brand new graph in the memory. So in this case, um, this is how we basically deep copy, right? Deep copy the graph. So here you can see we have given input, right? So in this case, when we return, it's going to be exactly the same and um, but different space in the memory of course so here you can see we have a another example where we have only one node and then we just basically you can see a node that input contains one empty list the graph consists only one node with value one so it does not have any neighbors right so in this case uh we're just returning a clone version of that and if it's null right if it's empty graph we're just going to return empty graph we're going to return null um so yeah so let's take a look at how we can solve this problem so to solve this problem here you can see we have a graph right this graph has one two th four three so one is connected to two and four and two is connected to one and three and so on so the um the goal uh, the approach how we're going to solve the problem is we're going to use a breath for search and we're going to use breath for search to traverse level by level to clone the graph from there and basically um, we're just going to use a queue, right? Because to use a, to traverse the graph using breath for search, we're going to use a queue. And basically, we're, queue is basically a first in, first out data structure. So the first element in is also the first one out um, when we remove element off of the queue, right? So basically, what we're going to do is we're just going to start from this node right here. This is going to be the head node, right? That's given, which is node one. And then we're going to add this current node onto the queue, right? So in this case, we have one here on the queue. Um, and then we, in, in this case, we also going to have a hash table to keep track of all the visit, visited nodes, right? So in this case, we have currently vi visited that node because we're starting from this node. So we're going to have node one, right? That's the O node. This is the O node. And the, the value is in, on this case, in this case is going to be the new node, right? The, the, um, the new node that we created in our memory. So once we create that node, we're just going to um, save it onto the hash table, right? And then what we're going to do is we're just going to um, traverse all the neighbor nodes that node one is connected to, in this case, two and four, right? So in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to create, we're going to um, create that in our table, right? And we're going to, the old node is going to be node two, Right, this node right here the new node is going to be um, a brand new node with the value of this node so at the end it will look something like this right and then what we're going to do is because it doesn't really um, exist in our hash table we also have to add it onto our queue right so in this case queue we have node 2 and node 4 that we have to um, tra traverse at the um, later right so in this case we have node, four, node 2 and node 4 on our table and what we have also have to do is for each iteration, right? We also have to get our new node, which is the node one, point to those new node that we created. In this case, node two and node four, because we know that the old node, node one, node, uh, node one is connected to node two and node four. And then what we do is we're just going to um, remove the nest, the top element, or I should say the first element in the the um, the prior uh, the the queue, right? So in this case, um, value node two. Once we remove that, and then we're just going to traverse each and every single node that node 2 is connected to, in this case, node 1 and node 3. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to see if node 1 is there, right? If it's, if it's there in the, in the table, then we're just going to get new node, in this case, node 2, point to that node. 
And then if it not, if it's not there, for example, node three, what we're going to do is we're just going to create that. This is going to be the node three, uh, node three, um, which is going to point to this node, right? And then this is going to be the new node, which is going to be a brand new node three, right? So a brand new node that with the value of three. So what we're going to do is we're going to get node two point to this node. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we're going to add three because three is not was not um, contained in the table. So now we're going to add it onto the prior uh, the queue as well. So now we have four and three, right? We we, we remove two and uh, we remove two, and then what we're going to have is four and three, right? So three wasn't there, so we added three onto the queue. Now we just remove four out of the queue, right? So what we're going to do is we're just going to um, traverse all the neighbor nodes that node four is connected to, in this case, one and three. We check to see if one is there. One is there, then we're just going to get node four is point to node one. And then we also check to see if node three is there. Node three is also there. So we're going to um, get node four is point to node three, right? So if it's not there, we're just going to um, create that in our table and in our memory. And uh, we also have to add it onto the to the queue as well. So then what we have to do because we didn't because those nodes are all contained in our tables, then we don't have to add anything onto our queue, right? So now what we have to do is we're just going to um, remove four, right? No four, and then we're just going to move on to the next element. In this case, no three. So now no three is basically um, the next node. We're just going to traverse all the nodes that no three is connected to, no two and no four, and then. Basically, we see if no no two exists, no two exists, then we're just going to get no two point to the new node of no, no two, and we're also going to see if no four exists in our table. In this case, we do, right? And we're going to get no three point to the no four's new node. In this case, it's going to be this node right here, right? And then at the end, it will look something like this, right? And then our queue is finished, right? And there's no element in the queue, and we can just return this top, um, the first element right here. In this case, no one, right? So let's try to do this in code. So how can we do this in code? Our first step is to do perform our base case because here you can see there could be a situation where the current node is null, right? So if node is null, then we can just return null. Okay, then what we're gonna do is we're just going to create our table, right? We're gonna have a O node, the O vertex um, as the key. And uh, we're going to create a new node, the new vertex as the value, right? So we're going to have hash map is equal to hash map. And then we're going to have the queue, right? Basically, we're going to um, store the, um, the adjacent nodes onto the queue, right? Then we're going to, because we're currently like visited that node, right? The current node, we visit that node. We're going to start by adding that node onto the queue, right? So and we also have to add that onto our hash map as well because we're starting at this node. So put Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to perform, now we're going to perform our um, BFS, right? So while, so while the queue is empty is equal to false, right? So if, it's, if the queue is not empty, what we're going to do is we're going to get the top or the first element off of the queue. So it's equal to uh, queue.remove, right? This will remove the, the, the top element off of the queue. Then what we're going to do is we're just going to traverse all the neighbor nodes that the first node uh, is connected to, right? So for each node, let's call it current, so current node. Um, so first dot neighbors, right? So in this case, all the nodes that the first node is connected to. Then what we're going to do is we're just going to um, have two scenarios, right? So one is that the current node is actually contained in the hash table, right? We visit that node. The other situation is that we didn't visit a node, right? There's only those two cases. But at the end, what we have to do is we have to get the new node, the clone version of this current node, um, added to the 
uh, the, the new node of the first, the clone version of the first node. So let's have this clone version. So first clone, right, is equal to hash map.git first, right? This will give us the clone version of the node that we uh, remove from the queue, right? Then what we're going to do is we're going to see, we're going to have a current clone, a clone version of a current node. So if the hash table, right, the hash table, the hash map dot contains current node, right? Because there only can be two situations where either we can either we visit that node or we didn't visit that node. Let's say we visit that node, right? Let's say we visit that node. Then what's you now what's the current clone is going to equal to? It's going to equal to hash map dot get current, right? This will give us the clone version of that node, the current node, and then if we didn't visit that node, well, what we're going to do, what we're going to do is first we're going to add the current node onto the queue, right? So because we go into traverse that node later, then what we're going to do is we're going to create a node. So we're going to have current clone, right, is equal to new node. It's going to equal to current .val. and then what we're going to do is we're going to save it onto the hash map. Okay, so then what we're going to do is we have to get the, um, the first clone dot neighbors dot add the current clone, right? So this will give us, this will add this current clone onto the list, okay? And then we're basically going to continuously do that until the queue is finished, right? The queue is done. Uh, there's no elements in the queue, then we're just going to re return hash map dot get node right so we're returning the clone version of the given the, the input node right so let's try to run the code linked list cannot find this simple link list okay yeah, so this is how we, let's try to run submit. Yeah, so this is how we solve this problem. So the time complexity in this case is going to be big O of V plus E, right? So V is going to be the vertex, E is going to be the edges, right? The connections and um, space complexity in this case is going to be big O of V, right? So um, number of vertex that we were given. 